ladies, and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith, and today I'm dropping this surprise video review because I am surprised. I was looking on a bunch of different manufacturer websites, as you guys know I do that a lot, and I happened to go to It's a Wig to see what they had new, and this was it. This is HD Lace Alana. She is brand new and I absolutely love this wig. I have her in the color P42730, which is a color I have not gotten since 2018. I didn't even think people still made P42730s, but that's the color I have. And she is wearing a copper color, which is really beautiful. But yeah, um, I didn't do any inside of the cap, all of that stuff on this wig, but I am going to show you how I styled her. So let's take a look. Okay, as you guys know, I'm always trying to make sure that the lace fits my head right. So what I'm doing here basically is just making sure that I can push the hair back away from the lace so that I can get a better look at it and a better lay down. Because if I can't really see it well, I'm not going to be able to glue it down very well. Now I'm just putting a little bit of my even in the front. You guys know how I do it. I cut my lace first. Then I take the even and I spray the edges just a little bit and just kind of press them down with my finger to make sure that it gets in that lace before I um, do the final part of this lay down, which is the Silky Sax Band. You guys know I love this band and this is what I use instead of using a blow dryer. Now, sometimes <laughs> you can't avoid using the blow dryer. And as you're gonna see in a minute when I actually take this Silky Sax Band off of my head, there were still some sections of the lace that needed to be glued down again. So yeah, here I am just examining my work. And yeah, most of it laid down. I mean, it looks pretty good for the most part. So the next step that I normally take is to start pulling the hairs off of the front. And you're going to see me do that in a minute. But for the most part, what I'm doing right now is I'm just looking to see where my gaps are. Because wherever those gaps happen to be, I'm going to have to turn right around and either use some more of the even, or I'm going to do what I saw Brittany do um, not long ago, and that is to take some of the got to be glued gel from the black tube and start using that to lay it down. And again, I'm probably going to have to use a blow dryer for the pieces that did not lay down the way they were supposed to. So that's basically what you're gonna see me do right now. I'm spraying it just a little bit more and then I'm just going to have to use the blow dryer to make sure that this lays down the way I want it to lay down. Because, you know, this is not exact science like I've told you guys many times before. Okay, now I'm just doing my final styling. You guys know that I like this got to be glue wax spray. I don't even know what it's called, but it's got to be glue wax spray and I like it. So I like to use that before I put the heat on my hair because um, it kind of helps lay it down a little bit. And so, yeah, I'm just doing your basic styling right now so that I can finish this project up. But um, this wig didn't need a whole lot of heat, just a little bit to lay it down. And yeah, there I am just brushing it out. And actually, it turned out pretty well, much better than um, some do <laughs> that I have to lay down. But one other thing that happened is I noticed that there was a really whack thing going on with uh, one of the tracks. It either looks like it's missing or it's broken or something. So I'm definitely going to have to talk to It's a Wig about that. All right, you guys, now that I have styled Alana, I'm actually going to talk. Um, I narrated most of this because I was doing a lot of work on this wig. But uh, let me tell you a couple of things about Alana. The first thing that I did with her is I plucked the hairline and I also had to pluck the part because there was a lot of black hair in here and I didn't want that. I wanted it to be more of a clean part. She plucked pretty decently, but her hairs were not that easy to get out. What I absolutely love about this wig is the lace. The lace is great. The lace works perfectly for me. So she was not difficult to lay down. The plucking was a bit of a challenge because the hair did not come right out easily. Um, and I did have some hair here that I needed to pluck out because it just was black and I didn't want that showing. But let me get closer so you can see Alana's texture and her color. This wig again, like I said, is a P42730. She is a nice yakky texture. She is not silky. She's not um, a niche of thickness, but she's a nice texture. And again, she was very easy to lay down. The lace behaved for me and I was very happy about that. Let me show you what she looks like in the back.
This is the kind of wig that I live for. This is the kind of wig, especially for my age group, I love because it's not too long. It's natural. Even though it's in this P42730 color, this is a very natural color that you can wear to work. You can wear out. Um, you can wear this anywhere. Um, I just absolutely love the way the lace laid down. Like I said, I was very happy about that. I'm going to go outside and do a sunlight test and I'll show you guys that video. Okay, I'm outside doing a sunlight test with Alana so that you guys can see what she looks like. I think she looks really good out here in this bright light. Going to go into a little bit of shadow here. Yeah, this wig is looking good. So as you saw from the sunlight test, this wig is really in great shape in terms of going outside. The only place I have found this wig so far is on Sam's Beauty. It is, a, again, a brand new wig. Um, I don't know if anyone else is carrying it, but that's where I got mine. I paid for it with my own money because when I saw this on It's a Wig's website, I said, I got to have this as soon as it drops. And yeah, I'm loving this one. This one reminds me a little bit of Bobby Boss Nicacia. Uh, as you guys know, I really love that wig. But um, I, I love this one even more. I love the body in this one. I love the texture of this one. Um, I love this color because this is a really beautiful color. And I think this copper color is probably really pretty too. So you guys need to go to Sam's Beauty or wherever you find this wig. HD Lace Alana. A-L-A-N-A. -A. It's a wig. And I have her again in the color P42730. This wig is fabulous. This is a great work wig. This is a great everyday wig. This is going to be my go-to wig and I just wanted to share this with you because as soon as I got it I thought I got to share this with my ladies because this wig is absolutely beautiful and she looks really great. So again if you're interested it'll all be down there. Thank you so much for watching and as I always say if you're going to show love to anyone today please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good and of course so are you. See you next time.